Welcome to Subterra's demonstration videos for the Organizer add-in for Microsoft's Outlook 2007. There are five basic steps to getting started with the add-in. One, creating projects and focuses. Two, processing collection points. Three, planning, which is arranging your work. Four, execution, doing the right work at the right time. And five, tracking, a look back. Today we'll be covering step one, creating projects and focuses. There are two ways to create and manage projects and focuses. One, use the Project Explorer, and two, manage projects on the fly via the Outlook objects such as mail, tasks, journal entries, appointments, and contacts. In the first video, we talked about using the Project Explorer. Let's talk about managing projects and focuses on the fly. Like we did in the first video, let's imagine that we work for a consulting firm focused on the movie industry. Let's read our mail. Looks like there is a new message requesting a script review. Let's read that. Ah, my good friend Charlie from MGM would like for us to review the new Rocky 12 script. Okay, let's assign this to a project, then create a task to start the work. The list doesn't include a project for MGM Studios. So let's take a look at all projects to see if perhaps we're not seeing the entire project list. Nope, that's all the projects. Looks like we need to add a new one. Similar to what was discussed previously, we had elected to let each project represent a client. We could further break down projects into clients and large projects, which may be useful if we're doing a lot of work for one client, but let's keep it simple. So let's add MGM Studios as a project. A quick trip to MGM's website tells us that their main colors are gold and black. Let's make this project's color dark peach. And that looks a little bit like gold. I like using codes. They help me keep things in a predictable order. Let's use 000370. Okay. The active checkbox tells the application to show the project in each respective project view. You can inactivate a project to remove it from any view. In fact, when you delete a project, it really deactivates it. Oops. The used in time reporting checkbox is used when reporting time via the time card function. In some cases, you'll want to track your time to a project, but not necessarily report it. This is useful if you're reporting your time to an external party, such as an accounting department, charged with time tracking, and you want to track your time to a different set of projects, but still have the option of reporting time specifically to their project list. Using this checkbox in conjunction with the distribution tab allows you to distribute time to a time reporting project. Now that sounded pretty confusing, so let's explain it via an example. For example, a document management system would be needed to facilitate the review of client scripts. If you're charged with managing that system, any work you do would be applicable to all the studio projects. Rather than attempt to split your time reporting across three, four, or more projects, you may want to create a document management project and distribute the time to the active studio projects. In that way, your managed time can be billed equally back to the customer-facing projects that are reported to accounting. The time distribution is handled via the distribution tab. If we were to uncheck that, here we'll do it right now, a little edit button shows up here, and then we can essentially add or we can have anything associated with this project actually be um, distributed to other uh, time projects, to other time reporting codes. The Compiled Code and Title for Categorization checkbox tells the application to concatenate the project code and title when creating a master category list name. This is the name that is used by Outlook in its master categories list. You can elect to turn off project codes via the tool's options menu in the Project Explorer, or simply remove them from the categories field that is consumed by the Outlook objects such as mail, task, journal item, etc. using this checkbox. On the Folders tab, it is possible to tag a folder on your computer to the project. Then the files in that folder will show up on the Project Explorer, and we can use the right-click Context menu Save to Folder when processing our collection points. 
Additionally, you can create a folder in your Outlook Navigator tree for this project if you'd like to simply drag Outlook objects associated with the project into an Outlook folder. The new folder will be named the same as the project name and show up under the My Organizer tree node in the Navigation Pane folder list. Let's save the project. <clears throat> Good, we have the project now in our project list. Let's select the project and click OK. We can now see that the receive mail is categorized to our new project. Since this email requires action, let's create a task by clicking the To Task button. Good, the email is categorized to the MGM project, so the Select a Project dialog auto selects that project. We now have a task that we can use to set up our review activities. We can add subtasks via the planning tab as we did before. Some examples of subtasks might be load the script into the tracking system. Review the script prior to group review meeting. Schedule group review meeting. And so on. And we can add as many here as, as appropriate. To convince ourselves that the actions we just took on the fly are now part of our trusted management system, let's go to the Project Explorer and check it out. Excellent. We now see our new project in the tree. We should also see the review task and its subtasks. There's the review task, and there are the subtasks. Great. There they are. Focuses follow a very similar pattern. Let's assume that we're processing our voicemail, another collection point. And one way to capture our actions would be to collect a series of tasks associated with our voicemail. Or, if you're set up to receive voicemail via your email inbox, you might process your voicemail just like you do your email. For our purposes, we'll assume that we're listening to our voicemails via telephone. The Outlook view that I normally have up on my second monitor is the calendar view with the organizer task pane visible. As I'm listening to my voicemails, it's very easy to click on the, two t on the task button to create a task and record the appropriate information. So as I'm listening to my voicemail, I can record who I need to call back and their phone number. So let's assume I'm listening to a voicemail and I got a call from Charlie at MGM. So return call to Charlie from MGM. And he might have given me his telephone number and we'll just make one up here. All right, and I can assign this task to a project. And here's my MGM Studios one, which is the one that's associated with Charlie. And then to help me later, when I make my phone calls, I can assign a focus to differentiate this task as a phone call. So I go into Focuses, and I'm looking for App Phone. Ah, it's not there. So I guess we need to add it. So let's, create on the, let's click on the All Focuses and create a new focus. We'll save that, and there it is in our list. We click OK, and now you notice that this task is now tagged to the at phone um, focus. So let's save that. OK, and then later when I'm making my phone calls, I can use the at phone filter in the organizer task pane and then execute my calls. And there it is. OK. Well, that's how we can create and manage projects and focuses on the fly. In the next video, we'll cover processing collection points, such as email categories none, or other collection folders, such as Twitter or Facebook folders. You can also read about how to use the organizer in the Getting Started Guide, which you can find on the organizer product page in the documentation section. Go to www.subterra.com 
slash products slash organizer. Thanks for your attention. I hope you find this add-in helpful.